What's good, everybody? It's your boy, Anonymous, the author, a.k.a. Anonymous Rap Guy, and I am back with another music review and reaction, man. Today, we got a new track by a new artist, man. We got Blake Estes. Name of the track is Weathering the Storm Remix. I'm excited to get into it, man. It's my first listen, first time vibing with him, so I'm really excited to get into it, uh, see what the style is all about, the cadence and the, and the, and the listening quality, man. Uh, let's just get right into it. But before we do, we're going to get into the intro, man, and we're going to get right into the track after that, man. Let go. The author. The author. Spit flows, spit shows, and monsters. Money with the bitches is what they taught you. Slick talk with pain and torture. So, man, I ain't gonna hold y'all up. Let's just get right into it and check out the vibes, man. Got some electronic music, it sounds like, man. I like the energy is building up. So, it's a lot going on in this track, man. It's a lot of layers, a lot of different sounds going on. It sounds like this is mostly like synths, um, some artificial sounds going on in the background that I really actually like, um, lacking the tempo, lacking the energy. This is not house music, but it, is, it does give me a house music feel, just a quick pace and a quick change into the beat and the energy, man. I really like it. Almost has a slight um, feeling of dove step almost. It's not enough bass and um, the synths aren't that heavy, but it does have a very nice sound to it. Um, yeah, man, I'm not mad at this at all. Almost sounds like 64 bit. It does give me a like uh, Nintendo DS kind of feel to it. I mean, obviously the, the audio is extreme, much cleaner and recording quality is clearly much better than <laughs> the Nintendo days. But it does give me that feel. Like, I feel like you could definitely listen to this while either playing the game or have it as background music. Um, yeah. Okay, changing it up just a little bit. They completely abandoned that chord from the beginning. That doom, doom, doom. That was nice, but it looks like they're abandoning it in the second act. Oh. Okay. Oh, we bringing it back. Okay. Small little thing. I know that I said earlier this is reminds me of Nintendo like 64 bit kind of sound, which is a very beautiful sound to have, man. It just brings back so much nostalgia for me, which might be why I kind of lean towards liking this a little bit because it does just naturally strike nostalgia with that sound. But 
as I said before, this is obviously a higher quality recording than the 64-bit, so it, it hits the ear much more pleasure, pleasurably, and obviously the production skill is a little more advanced than normal because listening and coming in from hip-hop beats and then listening to this, this is obviously um, more complex in the layering of everything. So it's very unique to have something that is layered as this still come off as pleasurable and to still have that through line of those chords that doom, 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 is very, very well produced. Okay, got some, got some vocals. Hey. Well, I like that build up. It's a lot going on and I like it. Ooh. Now we get futuristic with it. Hey, now we have completely flipped. From earlier, I said this was a 64-bit sound. Now we're going into futuristic sounds, advanced synths. Uh, we're going into warping. Like this is, man, this was the evolution of a sound. I see why it's called weathering the storm because you'll get from point A to point B if you just listen, and I love it. Hey. This is like Tron almost. into cyberpunk territory, yo. YouTube is, is that oh wow NFL Sunday That was an abrupt ending. Um Yeah man, that sounded uh super smooth, super clean. Um there was a lot to like about that. They took us he took us from like the eighties, nineties to like twenty seventy seven. Yo, that that was beautiful the way he transitioned from a to B, that's why I like the name of the song, is Weather in the Storm. As long as you sit through and weather through the track, man, you can hear a whole range of sounds and noises and inflections and productions that I actually was not expecting to hear when I first got into the song, man. So shouts out to Blake Estes, man. Um, advanced level production to be able to do that, and I really like it. So I'm looking forward to hearing more from you. I'm actually going to pull back up your page right now, and I'm just going to subscribe to your stuff, man. I wish you nothing but the best. Love and support to you, my guy. Uh, make sure you guys check them out. I got the links in the description for the original track. Let them know where you heard them first. I appreciate you guys, man. Be kind, be dope, but more importantly, anything else, be yourself, and I'll catch y'all next time. Peace.